Hey YouTube, today we're taking a look at Filson's trusty flask. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a while, so when I say a while, they had several a couple months back, and then they were out of stock for a hot minute. They're back here now, so. It is a six ounce uh, flask. It's made with food grade stainless steel. So this is a six ounce flask um, made of food grade stainless steel. The color is dark cedar and listed uh, item number 20175628 at $95. And it's one size because the flask toss this. So this is six ounces. Um, curvature, probably fit pretty well in the back pocket. Let's see how well the sticker comes off. Hate that. Whatever. I'll clean that up later. Uh, construction wise, this leather is smooth, fits well along these lines. The seam is obviously along the back for the most part. Looks pretty good. This right here looks like part of the inside of this little travel bag it comes with. You can see there, see the building company. It's got a Washington. The knurling on this is pretty nice feeling. This is a little more noise than it could be, but it's uh, sewed in a pocket. I don't know how much that would matter. Uh, nowhere online does it say in the description that it's going to come with this little travel bag. Uh, I don't know what material this is per se. It feels kind of like a felt. It's soft, obviously it's gonna be non-marring. It's like a, it's kind of leather cinch, but it's a nice addition to this. And that's pretty much it. Overall, I think I'm gonna be really happy with the uh, final product. I'm excited that it came with the travel bag. It's nice to store it in. And it's, it's nice that they don't even talk about that. It's not something you really consider. Uh, for $95, it is kind of an expensive accessory, but I think it's worth it for me personally. So if you're interested in one, I wouldn't say no. If you were him and Han about it at $100, it's probably almost classist to buy this. But yeah, I think I'm going to really enjoy drinking out of this on the road, metaphorically. Don't drink and drive. I think when it's in a pocket, that... Noise is going to be too much of a problem. So yeah, pretty excited about this. Alright guys, it's been about uh, maybe a month, month and a half since I did the unboxing video. I didn't actually put the video online. I wanted to use this a little bit before I put that video up so that I have some sort of actual thoughts about how the product has been working. So obviously you're familiar with the flask because this is part of the same video, but I've gotten to the opportunity to use this a couple times, uh, flown around a little bit, been on a couple little outings, and it has held up pretty well. Um, sticker is still on there. 
just I'm just gonna hope that it comes off eventually but um, the leather is in good shape considering that I've gotten liquid on it several times this hasn't spilled at all this little retention clip being in my back pocket and in a bag and stuff all the time it looks fine haven't had any weird odors or bad taste or anything come out of there based on some sort of fouling uh, my, my main complaint so far I'll get into in a second but uh, I, I did like rinse this off a second ago that's why it's a little bit of liquid there but it's held up pretty well overall um, it will kind of deform temporarily when I first got off the plane because uh, the cabin pressure change, it actually was like this, and I thought I had sat on it or something and been an idiot and ruined it. Um, but it, as soon as I opened it, it just popped back into place. So that was cool. Anyways, my only grab so far is that this thing is super annoying uh, when it comes to filling it, just because as a flask, it has that small opening that you can drink out of. And if I was Filson or if I was a customer, I would want to add a small like stainless steel funnel to this somehow integrate it so that there's like a small pouch or something uh, as part of this little bag or just that it comes loose or that you keep it separate. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but you know, when you're stone cold sober, it's hard to pour alcohol into this little tiny opening. So if you're not stone cold sober, it becomes a significantly more difficult task. So that would be my one gripe about this. And I'm glad that I did have some mileage on it before I put this video out. Also, my hands are pretty dirty because I was welding all day, so yeah. Anyways, if you uh, like this video, you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. I'm not super popular, so it doesn't usually take very long. Um, and if you have any other thoughts or you wanna see more Filson videos, just me buying Filson gear that I shouldn't buy or me building stuff, stuff I'm doing with a couple of my buddies, or just more miscellaneous application projects, uh, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and uh, tune in later for all kinds of more fun.